know if you can see all that. Yeah, someone actually ran into the building uh, with their car, broke through the glass, the ATM, the front doors. Okay, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a Panda Express right there. There's garbage bins right there. Uh, of course, the bank's here. There's a round table pizza right here. I don't know how they could have possibly been going that fast unless they absolutely meant to do it. They wanted in that building. There's no other, there's no other way possible. Yeah, that's how Gina's day starting. So I have to go to another town just to go pay my daisy payment. Dang it. Dang it. Here we go. We are on week number I'm not real sure because I got a new book. And now that Gina has two. I lost 1.6 pounds for a total of 13.8. It took me four months to do it in. So I would have liked to have hit 14 at least. So it would have actually been an average of one pound a week, but two ounces shy. And this is our vision board for this week. And week number six says love. I'm not sure if that means to love everyone, love yourself, just love. Yeah. Okay, the weekly itself is be a party boss. And I do have a party this weekend. My second grandbaby, um, we're having a meet and greet in general of a baby shower, but they're calling it a meet and greet. Um, so that's this Saturday. So we do have uh, an instance in our family where party food is going to be presented to the Gina. <laughs> um, and it says, be a party boss. Being able to eyeball your portion size and I think I've been here for four months. I can sort of kind of eyeball portions, but of course, what I thought were portions, and I talked about this um, in my meeting yesterday because I was at my four months that, you know, you talk a little bit, but um, what I saw as portion sizes was absolutely ridiculous in comparison to what they actually are. Because when I made my plate of food for dinner, I made the same size plate that my six foot husband would eat and I'm four foot seven being able to eyeball your portion size is key is a key skill especially when you're enjoying yourself at cookouts ball games and other events that uh, are food and drink centric mm, yeah um what I found in my meeting, what they talked about a lot, was how people felt like peer pressure to eat and didn't want to disappoint someone for eating. Yeah, I don't care. And I don't know that anybody has that type of emotion to food that I'm around. I mean, they all know I'm dieting and nobody cares what I eat. I'm not going to feel intimidated or um, put out in any way about not eating. And... I could very well eat what's there. I have no idea. We're going to find out on Saturday. I don't know. But as far as being peer pressured into eating food, I don't know that that is an issue per se. However, when you talk about bad foods, either on your channel, and my, I've done it myself, or at the Weight Watcher meeting, hence the whole donut issue a few months back, um, I do tend to actually start harping on that, and then I want to eat it. Was I peer pressured into eating it? No. Nobody got their feelings hurt if I ate it or didn't eat it. Nobody was trying to push it down my throat. They just kept talking about it, and then Gina went and got donuts. Practice weighing and measuring at home, and take up the handy habit of estimating portions. Using your own hand uh, or other objects to say, like say a deck of cards, or a computer mouse, um, something like that. And um, you'll really realize quickly that portions are less, are more in your head than what they actually are. How it helps. Estimating helps boost awareness of food choices and amounts. 
and awareness can help with weight loss. Not only can it boost accountability, but it can reassure you if you think you're, you've overdone it. Estimating and tracking, even after the fact, can often show it wasn't a dire, as dire as you thought. Okay, prime example would be last night, um, as I was filming, uh, trying to finish up my what did I ate, what did I, what did I ate in a day? <laughs> Say that about five times. I don't know what I'm saying. So yesterday after our Weight Watcher meeting, my niece and I went to a local pizza place called Round Table, which I know a lot of you know what it is, but it's not everywhere in the country, so many of you don't. But it is California, pretty prevalent pizza place, and um, had the lunch buffet. So um, I just thought that I had done horrible in points. Um and I was like, oh, man, I messed up, I failed, whatever, you know. No, that is not the truth. Because all said and done yesterday, my points, including every single thing, including the three Cinestics that I ate, yesterday I used a whopping perfect 30 points. Yeah, I did. So um, I didn't eat any breakfast because I had my way in. And at the meeting, because um, the prior Tuesday was the 4th of July, ours was closed. So w if we went to another meeting, we got a little um, piece of paper for us to pick up a box of treats. I picked up the Weight Watchers Popped Salt and Vinegar. So at the meeting, as soon as I weighed, I ate that. Um, and then I had, uh, had a bottle of water there with me, and I drank that. Prior to that, in the morning, I had a cup of coffee. So that was my breakfast. And yesterday, um, at the pizza place, I had a, a little bit of potato salad. Not half a cup. I counted half a cup, but I didn't actually have half a cup. A half a piece of pepperoni pizza, because I'm not a big pizza fan. I don't know if, uh, if everybody knows that about me. I'm not thrilled with pizza. I don't like pizza sauce. They didn't have anything with white sauce other than a veggie gourmet up there. And um, it has mushrooms on it. And me and mushrooms aren't friends. So um, then I had three cinna sticks and two garlic cheesy breadsticks. Okay, so the cinna sticks was seven. And it says right on here that round tables serving of garlic cheesy sticks is uh, two pieces. And it's only three points. I don't quite understand that, but it's in the Weight Watcher app, so you have to take their word for it. Um, and then I had one tablespoon of blue cheese dressing for two points. My salad, which I had a huge salad, uh, was zero. I didn't have anything on there that counted points, so it was all zero. And then the four points for a four points for a half a piece of pepperoni pizza. Really? That's why I didn't need it. So um, my whole meal was 18. And how much is a McFlurry at McDonald's? Yeah. Or my whole round table meal. So my point being was I thought I had just failed, miserable, blah, 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 not going to make it. Might as well just eat what you want. Well, thank God I sat down and tracked because that day was salvageable by far. So then it says what to do. Test your PQ. Test your P's and Q's. It actually says just P period, Q period. Portient, quotient. Okay. I haven't read this yet. Can you tell? So I'm going to just show it to you real quick. If you want to read it verbatim, you can. So it says that um, carrots and ranch dip are a picnic go-to. How can you keep track of your dipping? Uh, a fingertip is a teaspoon. Most people's fingertips. One whole, a fing, a a fingertip is a teaspoon. <laughs> I think this might be. Um, I don't know if that's a, an error, because doesn't that say the same exact thing right here? These two, it says a fingertip equals one teaspoon, or B a finger equals one teaspoon. 
Was that supposed to be tablespoon? C, it couldn't have been more than a tablespoon, right? Answer. Well, let's read the answer and see if I'm wrong or I'm not sure. Um, oh, my word. Can you call the Gina a freak? We were supposed to pick which one was right, even though those actually two things say the same thing. I don't know. I'm still confused slightly. Let's read the answer. Answer A. A teaspoon is roughly the size of your index finger to the first knuckle. On mo I'm going to say most people. My, that's my, my finger is tiny, like on most normal people. You all, that is not a teaspoon, I can guarantee you. If I cut my finger off, it would not fill up a teaspoon. Um, keep track by spooning a portion on your plate and dipping from there. That's smart. I, I agree with that. That's smart. Uh, and then it gives three other options. Uh, mm, dry rub barbecue chicken breast. How big is a three ounce serving? And two fingers, your palm, or half an eight inch paper plate. <laughs> well, that could be mounted as high as you want it, couldn't it? Answer B is correct, your palm. Most people's palm. And then there's a couple more there that you saw. We're not going to go over each one, but you could certainly pause the video and read them all if you want to. But then I would actually eat this recipe. I, it looks really good. And it's just individual spicy layered dips. Isn't that cute? Here's the recipe. Can you see how shaky Gina is? That never got better. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and watch story time. There's nothing I can do about it. No coupon on the back. Hmm. And that was it for the meeting this week. That was it for my weigh-in this week. What I do want to talk about a little bit is how I plan to move forward, at least for the foreseeable future. Because my family, uh, my niece is uh, still here. Her mom and my other sister is coming in on Friday, and they'll be here through the end of the month, um, toward the end of the month. They have to be back by the 1st, uh, because Cameron, the one you have seen, is uh, was accepted into cosmetology school, and she has to be there on for a, her first meeting on the 1st. So um, in saying that, I'm not going to uh, video every single thing I eat and put up little videos every day. What I think I might do and see how it works just for this couple of weeks. Um, and a lot of it has to do with I have that new series uh, that I'm trying to do a lot of decluttering and trying to get everything done and still make sure that I get everything for you guys. I'm just going to minimize it. And if you guys like this this way, it might be a win-win for the both of us. I'm just going to snap a shot of what I ate. And um, in my week in review, at the end, I will share um, anything that are not repeats. I'm not going to show you repeat after repeat of the same food day after day. That's just goofy. Nobody really needs to see what you ate if it's the same exact food um, when we're going to go over it in the end of the week anyways. And uh Matter of fact, let me just do that because I didn't. I thought that I would start sharing the blue dots. Yeah, let me just say I didn't do so great last week, but I'm trying. I'm doing a lot better this week. So I only got one blue dot last week. Well, you can see the blue dots. You can't really see anything else. I only got one blue dot last week, but I got three this week. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday already this week. And how by... Can you say that I got Wednesdays? That's because I pre-tracked and prepared my food for all day long today. And I'm hoping to have a whole much better day.